Welcome to Keep It Sunny's 31 Days of Halloween. Welcome back to Keep It Sunny's 31 Days of Halloween. On today's episode, we're going to be starting off by making some cherry cinnamon intestines. We just need two simple ingredients for this recipe. We need one 21 ounce can of cherry pie filling and one can of cinnamon rolls. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. You're just gonna take your cherry pie filling and pour it into a food processor and blend it up. You want to blend it until the filling is completely smooth. The filling looks absolutely bloody delicious. Next we're going to take our Pam cooking spray and we're going to spray a small glass 8 inch pan. The cooking spray will help the cinnamon rolls not to stick. Then we're going to unwrap our cinnamon rolls and take out the cream cheese filling and set that aside. We're going to be using that later on. We're going to take one of the rolls and unroll it so that we have a long string. And we're just going to kind of weave it back and forth and wiggle it around so it resembles intestines. There's no wrong way to do this. You just want to kind of make it go back and forth like a snake pattern in different ways. You can get creative with it. And make your intestines look any way you think your intestines should look. And now we're going to bake it for about 12 to 15 minutes until the rolls are almost done. If your cinnamon roll package has a shorter bake time, then you just want to shave off about three minutes from the bake time because we will be putting it back in the oven after we apply our cherry topping. Okay, the cinnamon rolls are done in the oven, or almost done, I would say. And now we're going to add our cream cheese right on top of the cinnamon rolls and just smooth it around. Next, we're going to take our cherry puree that we made and we're going to pour about half of it on top of the cinnamon rolls. Just going to smooth it around until they're fully covered. And then it's going back in the oven. We're going to turn the oven to broil this time and we're going to broil it for 5 to 10 minutes until the topping is bubbling and has thickened. To serve these cinnamon rolls, I like to take the remaining cherry topping and pour a little bit into a glass dish and swirl it around. And then place the cherry cinnamon intestines right on top of the extra cherry juice. You can also drip some of the remaining cherry juice on top to give it kind of a drizzling bloody effect. And that's it. These cherry cinnamon rolls are super easy. They look both delicious and disgusting at the same time. You're not going to eat it? No. Oh. I'm not going to eat some intestines. It's really just cinnamon rolls. Mm. Um. I'm not believing that that's cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls look yummier than that. No way I'm eating intestines. 
Um, hmm. I guess I could make you something else. Do you want monster pancakes? Oh yeah, that sounds better. As long as there's no brains in them or stuff. Hmm. Next up, we're going to be making some monster pancakes. For the ingredients, you're going to need two cups of flour, half a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, one cup of milk, two eggs, three tablespoons of vinegar, cooking spray, cookie cutters, and some glitter icing gel. Now that I've gathered all my ingredients, I've got my Halloween glitter gels ready, and I've got these cute little Halloween cookie cutters. So first we're gonna to need to make the batter for the pancakes. We're gonna take two and a half cups of flour, half a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, and we're gonna mix all the powders together. Next, we're going to take two eggs and add them to our mixture. Three tablespoons of white vinegar and one cup of milk. We're just going to whisk this all together until we have a nice creamy mixture. Next, we're gonna take our cookie cutters and put them into a bowl and spray them with some Pam cooking spray. Next, we're gonna turn our griddle or your nonstick pan to a medium heat and lightly coat it with some cooking spray. You're also going to need a pair of tongs to pick up the cookie cutters because since they are metal, they are going to be very hot and you do not wanna pick them up with your hands, so make sure you do not touch them, touch them but you only use your metal tongs to remove them from your cooking surface. I like to put the batter into a little cup or a little pitcher so that it's easy to pour into the molds and it makes less of a mess. I'm gonna put a small dab of the batter onto the surface just to make sure that it is hot enough to cook the pancakes. And once I'm sure that it is the right temperature, I'm going to go ahead and fill all of my cookie cutters about halfway with the batter. Now when the batter starts to bubble and puff up, that's when you know that it's time to remove the cutters and flip the pancakes. So you're gonna take your metal tongs and gently grab the sides of the cookie cutter and slowly pull up on the cookie cutter to remove it from your cooking surface. Sometimes the cookie cutters can get stuck, but if you just give it a little shake, the pancake should fall right out. And then you're ready to flip your pancakes. You're going to cook these pancakes for about one to two minutes on each side. And that's it. Just repeat the process again until all of your batter is gone. And soon you're going to have a plate full of Halloween shaped pancakes. Now for the really fun part, we're going to be decorating them with our Halloween glitter gels. We're going to be making a Frankenstein, a tombstone, a skeleton in a coffin, and a pumpkin.
And that's it. These are the completed monster pancakes. They are a wonderful breakfast for your little ghouls and goblins. And maybe a little more appetizing looking than the intestines were. Mama's for breakfast again. Delicious! Let's show them. She did a really good job. Just dip them in there. Dip, dip, dip. Mmm. You know, I bet Dad will eat some of the intestines that I made. It is crafting time, you guys. Today we're going to be making these adorable little yarn ghosts. So the supplies you're going to need for this project, we're going to need a small styrofoam ball. I just got this one from the Dollar Tree. You're also going to need three googly eyes. You're going to need a six inch square of cardboard or cardstock. 20 feet of white yarn. Some white craft glue a pair of scissors, a black permanent marker, and some tape. The first thing you're going to want to do is to tape your white yarn to the center of your cardboard square. Now you're going to wrap your white yarn around your cardboard square 40 times or until you run out of yarn. Once you have all of your yarn wrapped up, you're going to unwind it one time and snip off that extra six to eight inches of yarn. You're then going to take that extra piece of yarn and slide it underneath the center of all your other yarn strings. Then you're going to tie a tight knot in the center of it. Now you're going to take the rest of those yarn strings that you just tied and you're going to tie another smaller knot in the very end of it. This is going to make a little hoop for you to hold your ghost. I'm just going to snip off the extra little piece on top of my knot and then flip your cardboard back over. Now we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut all of the yarn strings right in the center of the cardboard. Remove your cardboard square and flip it over. It's going to look like you have these two little pigtails hanging off. And then you're going to apply some glue to the underside of your yarn ghost. And you're going to glue your little styrofoam ball to it. Next, flip it over and arrange the little yarn pieces so that the styrofoam ball is completely covered. Next, we're going to take our three googly eyes and we're going to take one of them along with our black permanent marker and we're going to color in the back flat side of the googly eye. This is going to become the mouth of the ghost. Once you have the back of the googly eye completely colored in, you're going to set it aside and let it dry. And then you can apply two little blobs of school glue onto the ghost wherever you want his little face to be. Once you have the eyes attached, then you can just glue on the little mouth. And there you have it, that's your cute little yarn ghost. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching day two of Keep It Sunny's 31 Days of Halloween. Please like and subscribe so that you can receive more of our Halloween content. We will be posting a video for every single day of October. 
If you would like extra content from us, you can also follow us on our Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, which you can find in the description below. And we will see you tomorrow for another spooky video. Thanks for watching. God loves you. Happy Halloween. Keep it creepy. Ha 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 ha.